Hey everyone, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And in particular, this is me playing the Mystery Case Files series, which is how I got into Find It games in the first place. The first one I ever played was the Madam Fate Carnival, which is a really good one. And it has been mostly good games for most of its existence, and it's still making stuff, so... I figured this would be a good one to play to see like how the games changed over time. And some of them are so good and some of them are kind of eh. The first two are very old and that's really all I can say about them because I don't remember very much. I do remember it's almost entirely find it puzzles though. There's very little plot. There's very little else going on. So we are a detective at Mystery Case Files to seek and solve. And let's find out what we need to solve in Huntsville. Also, we're going back to, if any of you remember, we're going back to me playing this game uh, in a window. And the window is literally one quarter of my entire monitor. So I have it kind of superimposed over itself in the Twitch window. So I can see half the screen of the game in my Twitch window. And yeah, I bet it was, you've got giant monitors. So what happens sometimes with these older games is I will get to the edge and I will be looking at something over here and then I'll see something next to it in the Twitch window and I'll click off of it. So if that happens, I apologize. Let's start. Oh boy. Reading. Case number one, five finger discount. Time limit 20 minutes. 20 minutes? I can beat that way faster than that. Various store owners around town are noticing missing inventory. It's up to you to uncover the identity of the larcenous culprit and put an end to this rash of sticky fingered thievery. Visit the bookstore and the law office to collect seemingly lit random clues. Oh, I bet. As evidence is collected, use the crime computer to piece together the solution to this and other puzzling mysteries throughout town. Do you have the skills to become a master detective? I certainly hope so. Oh, look, we're, we're a flatfoot. <laughs> That's cute. Mystery case files flatfoot. The Apache Hotel. I don't know what that says. Oh, I have to press this. I knew that. Oh, I don't want to do hints. All right, so let's go to the bookstore first. Find and click clues in the crime scene to add them to your satchel. Get hint if you need assistance. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, we are back to the original standard version of the find it puzzle or the hidden object puzzle as it were. And we have a list over here and there's 15 items I need. I do not need hint, be quiet. But I can only see some of them at a time. So this is back before there were clicking penalties, but you couldn't just click everything randomly to get everything because only part of the stuff would be visible at once. So let's see how fast we can get through this. Axe. Is that glass? No, that's a gas mask. Two pairs of glasses. Oh, wow. I have to wait till that thing completely goes over there before I can click something else. A spoon. I think these older ones are kind of fun. It's silly because they will just hide stuff anywhere. Like there's a wishbone up here, for example. Oh, 15 between the two locations. You're right. It'll get bigger the longer we go along. But like, see, there's a wishbone up there. There wouldn't be a wishbone there in real life. There's a centipede. They really make centipedes that big. That's not fun. I just saw a video of that the other day. I'm pretty sure it was Erdite's fault, as a matter of fact. But like, I love how they just stuff stuff places so you can't find it. Though this one isn't actually as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. Rolling pin. No, not the tarantula. Somebody had a video of a giant centipede underneath a Tupperware container that was attempting to escape and I was not happy about it. And it wasn't even in real life. It was in the computer. Where is the sneak? I don't think I saw a sneak. Sneak. There he is. I did see him. The tarantula that you could see across the yard was also not pleasant, but that was at least far away. All right, now we have to go over here. Fish bowl. To my, so this is 2005 when this game was made. 
So we're not going to have a lot of high tech in any of these puzzles. Most of them used stuff that was like 80s based and older for their pictures. With a little bit of new technology in there to throw off the scent for things. But like, I am definitely not going to be looking for computer mouse, for example. Three teddy bears. I thought I saw a lot of teddy bears. Wait, is there another thing that I need three of? No. Okay. I saw a lot of eyeballs too, which was a little weird. Teddy bears. That's a stuffed piggy. So that is not a teddy bear. Oh, there he is. Let's see, upgrade the basket. A pitcher. That's not a pitcher, that's a, um, a craft. Is that it? That's more like a coffee pot. Close enough. Pipe, a lute, opera glasses. I'm pretty sure I saw the opera glasses. Is that this? No. There they are. A lute, which, there it is. A pipe and a mouse. There's the pipe. Where's the mouse? I'm gonna see him. Hey, I wanted to find the mouse. I forgot. In these, you only have to find some of the items to win. Click the highlighted tiles on the crying computers. I know. I have to recreate the picture, except it's going to have this weird lady in it. <laughs> the artwork in this is not fantastic. The art assets for the game part are pretty cool. But, I mean, they're super low pixels, so... Let's see. Oh, that's the top of the tree. Bang, bang, bang. Who could it be? It's not locked! It's not locked! What do you want? So far, just a dad. So I think they, yeah. So I think maybe you should go to bed. Actually, that's not true. I have two viewers. But true. go. I don't know how to look to see who is here. Only Dad is talking right now. Ah, uh, who's the other person here? Honey. Hello. Go out. Leave. Scoot butt. Oh, it's Max. Say hi to Max. Hi, Max. Knock knock. No, not no knock. Out. 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 No, no, no. What did he say? Go to bed. Thanks, Max. What did he say? Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Get out of here. <laughs> You're gonna knock my mic over. Go on, scoot. <sighs> I hate all of you. Okay, where were we? We were putting together a very strange puzzle. <sighs> I should charge admission, I swear. <laughs> Well, you should visit more often, then. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember when my brother was at the I'm going to tell terrible jokes all day phase. And it was just as like, ugh, then as it is now. <laughs> I see it there, here somewhere, right up there. Yes, was. Steven was like, that's all he did, literally, would be tell terrible jokes. And especially where we were in the car going somewhere, so like there was no escape. He still does, but not like literally consistent, like constantly rather, not consistent. Um, yeah. so. Steve, the stuff, the stuff that he posts on Facebook is in line with the stuff he used to tell as a kid. And, yeah. Why am I having so much trouble with this? Oh, because I'm missing a piece. That's why. And another piece. I am so not paying attention. There we go. Busted! Excellent work, Agent Fate. You discovered the identity of the mystery shoplifter. She doesn't look like she's... What? What? Oh, I missed that. Ooh, I'm a snoop now. Click below to unlock the next assignments. Funny money. A counterfeiting scheme has been discovered in the vicinity of Huntsville, and some corrupt individual is spending the bogus bills all over town. 
The center of operations appears to be the barber shop, but be sure to check Ty's clock shop and law office. Wait, are those two the same thing? Like a clock shop slash law office? Interesting. With the help of the crime computer, get to the bottom of this audacious enterprise. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Guess we'll start with the barber shop. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Do we cheat him in watch repair? <laughs> Look, it's Prince Charles and Einstein. Oh my gosh, this is weird. All right, um, sorry, I, if I actually want to play this, there we go. Banana, pair of gloves. Oh, I have to wait till it goes all the way down. I keep forgetting. Boomerang. Is that that? Pliers. I stopped looking at things. My brain does not like up for this for some reason. We're doing it anyway, brain, so. Let's see. Five green bottles. One, two, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's see, an apple, let's try and see the flyers, a scythe, and a bell. Ooh, poison. What is this guy up to? There's a straight razor. Oh, there's the scythe. That's a Halloween scythe. Pliers and a bell. Let's see, there's a snail. Is that a pliers? No, that's a nail puller. Eggplant. Fuzzy slipper. Hmm. That's a shaver. Home, French horn, there's a flute, there's an orangutan. I'm looking for a bell too, is that a bell? That looks like a bell. That's an oil can. Oh, there's a bell. Alright, where's the pliers? Oh, I didn't see those. Good work. All right, let's see. Let's try. Let's go back to the attorney's office since we already did that one once. Let's see. Ah, and this is one of the ones because it's one of the originals where once you find something and then you redo the scene, the stuff is back again. I like it better when the stuff disappears because then it looks like you're cleaning. And I don't know why I like that because I don't actually like cleaning that much, but I do. All right, we need two apples, a loot. Oh, well, we know where the loot is. Three teddy bears again. Also know where that is. One. Two. That's a Boyd's bear. If anyone knows what those are. Okay, let's see. That's a pear. Yeah, okay, good. Apple. And another apple. Oh, those are the same apple. They just copy-pasted it. A seal press. A dustpan, a coffee grinder, and a telephone. No, that's a microphone. There's a coffee. That's actually... Oh, coffee grinder. Okay. Seal press coffee grinder. I was putting those two things together in my head. And we also need a hat. 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 Oh, there's a hat. Hat, hat, hat. And a seal press and a dustpan. That's a coal shovel, not a dustpan. It's a dessert topping and a floor wax. Let's see. What is that? Oh, I think that's the spine of a book. It's weird because I'm looking at this like I, I'm trying, like I'm leaning in to see it because it's so small on my monitor. Oh my gosh. There's a rat. Oh, that's the mouse. That's the one. No, I found that one. Didn't I? I wonder where the other one is. I'm not looking for the other mouse right now. I am looking for a seal press. And I am not finding one. There's a hamburger. Actually, that looks like, in fact, a Big Mac. Like, taken from an advertisement. There's the other mouse. I found him. All right, I don't see it. Where is him? Oh, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for, like, a smaller version of that. Like a handheld one. That would explain why I didn't find it. Aha! The clock shop. Right, an egg, two glass, oh, two glass eyes, a metronome, paintbrush, hummingbird, baby bottle, tortoise, and a doggy clock. There's a doggy clock, that's adorable. 
All right, let's see. So, eggs, two eyes. I better can find, there's that one eye. Eyes and spiders kind of jump out at me when I'm playing these games because I don't like spiders and I guess eyes make it look like they're looking at you. Doesn't that kind of look like a baby Donald Trump? Like right here, kind of creepy. Lots of Einstein in this and I'm distracted again. 100% good, I'm glad. <laughs> this was 2005, so I mean, he was around and doing stuff, but he wasn't like in the news as much as he has been in recent times. Oh, a metronome. Let's see, where's a metronome? There's a bomb in the clock. Oh, there's a tortoise. There's a rocket. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, look, it's a time machine from the time machine, the, the movie. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a metronome. See, I find these ones much more interesting to look at um, than some of the newer ones where, like, everything is logically placed. You kind of get a glimpse into the mind of whoever made these when you're doing these ones. All right, so I need an egg and an eye. Egg and an eye. There's a fish and a hat. Oh, there's another rocket ship. What's that horse? This is the horse uh, picture where they took a bunch of photographs as it was running by to prove that a horse lift lifts all its legs up in the air when it runs. Apparently they are, yeah, the well, that's clocks. Dolly and clocks kind of goes together. I forgot what I'm looking for already. I'm looking for an egg. I have not seen an egg. Oh, eggy, where are you? I also don't see the other eye, which is a little weird. What is that supposed to be? Really, Erdite? Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the eye. It's in a book. It was hiding. Oh, why don't you find the egg? Oh, that's a lemon on that kid's head. That's why it looks like Trump. It's not drawn that way. There's literally a lemon superimposed over his head. Oh, okay. I guess basically we're going to get to play Find It Games with... Figure out where his head goes. Find It Games with matching puzzle... Puzzles! That's the word I was looking for, was puzzle. With puzzles at the end. Unless they do something else later on. I'm pretty sure it's all this, though. Right on. The more time went on, the more advanced these games got. And it's interesting to to play them all in a row like this, like uh, with the Haunted Hotel. The Haunted Hotel also has that where you start off and it's like really janky and stuff doesn't actually work the way you think it's going to work. And it's very interesting to then go, oh, now they have this option. Oh, now they have that option. Like in this one, we, you can't even, you can't even use items to solve puzzles. It's all just finding stuff. And that's interesting to me. There, there. This is a very silly, I was going to say doctor's office. This is not a doctor's office. Even though barbers used to be doctors back in the day and dentists. That isn't that frightening. Can you imagine your hairdresser pulling your teeth? That's something I'm extremely happy isn't a thing anymore. I mean, I like my hairdressers, but I don't like them that much. Where is there another group of pictures? You've had worse dentists? You have had worse dentists. You had really bad dentists for a while. I don't know how you ended up in that position, but man, your dentists were not good. And then Otpunk, who is mysteriously absent this evening, had a dentist who, not while she was there, and luckily while no one else was there either, the dentist office blew up. No, they didn't have schools for it. They didn't really even treat it as medicine. It was just something you did so that your mouth stopped hurting. Which, I mean, I guess it's fair in a way, but at the same time, teeth health is kind of important. I have this thing with not actually paying attention to the clue it's giving me. Not on purpose, but because I forget it's there. Busted! 
Good work, Agent Fate. You have solved the crime. I do my best. Rudy, the town barber, appears to be trimming hair and his expenses by manufacturing mock moolah. Oh my gosh, it's silly. Could his activities be part of a larger criminal conspiracy? It doesn't look like the type. Your sleuthing skills have earned you the ranking of gumshoe. Nice. If you have the nerve, click below to receive your next mission. Okay, the alarmist. Someone has been sounding false fire alarms all over Huntsville. That's a bad idea. Local authorities have become impressed with your crime fighting skills and need your help uncovering the agitator. Visit the fire station as well as the other Huntsville locations to gather evidence useful in tracking the bogus bell ringer. When enough clues are collected, use the crime computer to capture the crazed culprit. Boy, somebody had a lot of fun writing this one. Ooh, let's, well, let's do the ones we already did first. Tambourine, two mice, fountain pen, apple, dumbbell, snake, liar, shovel. Well, you know where the snake is. He's right there. And there's the shovel. And I have to wait. Now I can click on the shovel. There we go. Okay. So let's see, a tambourine and two mice. There's a tambourine. Oh, that's a cool sphinx. Or is that a sphinx or a griffin? I think that's a griffin. That's very cool though. Here's a key cat. I forgot what I'm looking for. Two mice and a fountain pen. Fountain pen, that is uh, Erdite's speciality. There's a mice. You have amassed many fountain pens. Liar, fountain pen, one mouse. There it is. I mean, okay. The ink part of fountain pens, I must admit, is amazingly cool. Because you do, in fact, get all of the colors. But um, I don't write enough longhand to even make that sort of worthwhile. And I stopped looking for things again. Is that a green cat? That's pretty cool. Okay, a mousey and a pen. There's a pen. And I need the mouse. There's that centipede. Oh man, I wish I could click on that and make it go away. There's a mouse. Oh, these are all new places. Let's go to Ivan's Cafe. All right, there's a frog. All right, pie, pair of gloves, binoculars, wig, wooden brush, boat, screwdriver, and parrot. Okay, I want pie. Actually, I just had a treat, so I do not need pie. But pie is always good. I wish they had more um, meat pies and stuff like they do in the UK. Because they are also delicious, but that's not really a thing in the US. And I feel deprived. There's a lot of weird stuff in there. There's a toilet brush. What are looking for? Oh, there's another frog. I keep finding frogs. Pie, binoculars, wig. Pie, binoculars, there's a turtle. Scavenger hunt. Oh, there's a pie. Wow, that's really well hidden. Good job, whoever did that. Sweet violet, cube something or other. Hmm. Uh, what else? A boat, a screwdriver, and a parrot. You'd think the parrot would be easy to see. Ah, oh, there it is. But it's rather colorful in here, so. A boat and a screwdriver. What is that? I don't know what that is. A boat and a screwdriver. Wow, there's a lot of wacky things in this picture. There's a school bus. I don't know what that is either. Actually, that might be like a, um, a, uh, not a siren, but one of the lights that goes on top of like a police car, I think. That looks like an urn. This is a picture of. Oh, that's an espresso machine. As is this, actually. I've lost my train of thought again. Maybe I will not be able to get through this in an hour. <laughs> okay, focusing. Boat, screwdriver, wooden brush, binoculars. I thought I saw the binoculars. There they are. I did. They were right next to the frog I was poking at. I did not see a wig at all. That would be another thing I would expect would be very easy to find because of its hairiness, you know? Oh, there it is. 
think I would have found that. Think Weird Al. Yeah, I just saw that. Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's the pen. That's a pen. Look. There's a little stubby do. Oh, I don't need a pen. I need a screwdriver. <sighs> okay, back to focus. I was talking about pens too much in the last thing. I haven't seen a boat either. Boat to boat sandwiches, roast beef, chicken salad, cheese and tomato, and cucumber probably sandwich. All of those. Oh, look, there's peas. Whoever, oh, there's a triangle. Whoever did this did a very good job. Oh, there's a boat. I found it. I just have to pay attention instead of not. And a wooden brush and a screwdriver. Hmm. What you're actually supposed to do is you're supposed to find all the things you can find and then move on to the next location. But I hate doing that because then it means I didn't find all of the things. Up, oh, found the screwdriver and a wooden brush. I don't remember seeing any brushes. Well, I mean, that's a toilet brush, but that's not a wooden brush. So that would not help the situation. Um, yeah, so you're supposed to like give up and go to the next place even though you have other things to do. And I don't like doing that. It is very disconcerting with these things to see the time ticking in the background below the candle holder. That's a cat. Is there another candle holder? Little more. As a book. Fern. Oh! Oh my gosh! I see it. Thank you. Let's do Pete's Pawn Shop first. Oh, this is interesting. Spoon, two soda bottles, two soccer balls, two carrots, a clown, footnote, a footnote. Oh, look, it's a footnote. It says, good luck. Ha, 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 ha. A screwdriver and a deck of cards. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a really neat rook. All right, spoon, two soda bottles, and two soccer balls. Okay. Soccer balls you'd think would be easy to find because, you know, they're soccer colored. But it's possible they are not. And it is to trick me. A sombrero. And a lobster claw. There's a soccer ball. And a screwdriver and a deck of cards. That's not a deck of cards. That's a straight. As a matter of fact, that's an ace high straight. There's the deck of cards. Or not straight. Four of a kind. Where's my brain? Clown. There's the wooden brush that I needed in the last one. There's a soda bottle. Fruit Olay, I think. There's an egg. Ah, uh, that's a lava lamp. Apparently, according to my uh, middle child, lava lamps should only have red stuff in them because then they actually look like lava. Uh, in, in case any of you were thinking about getting a lava lamp and wanted to do it the correct way. <laughs> we also have a green one and uh, he does not approve. Screwdriver. Do I need a spoon? Yes, I do. Spoon. One soda bottle, one soccer ball, and one carrot. Again, you'd think the soccer ball would be easy to see. There's soda bottle. That logo looked familiar, but I don't know what it was for. Let's see, a soccer ball and a carrot. There's carrot. See, I can do these if I'm paying attention. The, the trick is I need to be paying attention. Wow, where's the soccer ball? That's a globe. I need to move this around or you have no idea what I'm looking at. Which didn't really occur to me when I started playing these games. So I would like, I would like leave the cursor and then my eyes would wander over here and it's like, well, nobody knows that you're looking over there, goofball. You need to actually pay attention. It is hidden somewhere silly, isn't it? Is it like in a picture or something? All right, let's see. Oh, that's cheesy. And I totally should have seen that. Cheese. Sneaky. All right, the fire station. Oh, it's a puppy. Oh, no, he's got a tick. Oh, good. It's one of the items I need. That would have really bothered me if that stayed there the whole time. Okay, ice cream stoop, buildings on fire, three frogs, a washboard, a hot water bottle, a telephone, and two dragons. There's a dragon. It's a very weirdly shaped dragon. It had arms, but it was an Asian dragon, but the arms were like where its shoulders should be. 
Okay, ice cream scoop, buildings on fire. Aha! I think I've seen that painting before. Three frogs. I love frogs. Frogs are so cool. What is that? Is that a frog? What is that? Weird. Here's a frog. And there's a hot water bottle. And what else? Uh, ice cream, two frogs, a washboard, which I saw. Yep. And a telephone, washboards. Man, I'm glad I live in modern times. That's not something I ever, ever would ever want to have fooled around with. Ice cream scoop. Let's take our clothes down to the river and scrub them for an hour to get them clean. That does not sound like fun. Froggy! I thought that dog was breathing fire for a minute. <laughs> one dragon, one frog, and a telephone. Oh, there's seashells. That's cute. That I keep thinking is a telephone, but it's not. That looks familiar, too. Oh, there it is. I bet these things are fun to make. Especially, like, this kind where you kind of just find assets from places and just sort of paste them in where you go, oh, there's a spider under there. I bet this would be fun to make. One frog and one dragon. I do not remember seeing a dragon. Oh, there he is. Wow. I think if this was bigger, I would probably also be able to see the stuff better. Yep, okay. It looks like we're just going to be doing puzzles at the end. And there's Oh, guys. I just figured out what this picture of. And it's really weird. What is happening? What is happening? Why is he dressed like a groundhog? Or I guess that's a groundhog. Why? All right, let's see. What else? I, I can't get over the groundhog. I'm just kind of like perplexed here. All right, this stuff goes here-ish. Where's my stuff here? I'm over here. I'll go there. I'll go there. You know, here. I do not understand what's happening in this picture. Oh wait, that's the uh, Dalmatian. All right, um, hmm. Oh, it's a beaver. Why is he dressed up like a beaver? Why? Why was he dressing up like a beaver to pull fire alarms? Elmer from the body shop is pulling fire alarms around Huntsville as a diversion so he can slide down the fire pole in a beaver costume. <laughs> Your crime solving proficiency has earned you the ranking of sleuth. I am laughing because I did not expect that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right. So case number four, Loose Nut. Professor Luna H. Tick has escaped from the Huntsville Funny Farm and townsfolk are in a panic. Authorities need your help locating the lost loon before she can cause any mayhem. Track the missing madwoman by searching for clues at Ivan's Cafe, Hunt and Peck, and the Science Museum. When you have found enough clues, use the crime computer to pinpoint Luna's whereabouts and get her back to the rubber room. Okay. I love that it's Hunt and Peck. That's adorable. Two lamps, anchor, opera glasses, which are down there. Two walking sticks, dustpan, two pair of glasses, scissors, and a toy house. What is that if it is not glasses? Oh, it's a locket. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, two lamps. One. That's another thing I like in these games. It's nice to get big things out of the way because it's a lot easier to see then. All right, let's see. One lamp, anchor, two walking sticks right next to each other. Wait, there we go. A dustpan, which that is not, that is a coal shovel. Scissors and a toy house. Let me see here. Oh, there's a little toy house. That's actually. Oh, okay, it is one house. It looked like a little village. Uh, da 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 da. Glasses. An anchor. I don't think I saw last time. Another lamp and scissors. There's the scissors. 
What other lamp is there in here, though? Hmm. What's that? That looks cool. I've lost my train of thought. That's a light bulb, but not a lamp. That's a teapot. You never agreed to what? Are you guys, like, being weird in the comments? One lamp and an anchor. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I saw an anchor. And I don't see another lamp. <laughs> yep, they're being weird in the comments. Watch as I go through the whole thing and don't see either of those things because my eyes are like not focusing. Okay, they must be in very weird places. If this was bigger, this would be way easier. This is making my eyes water. I hope the next game is slightly larger than this one. I think the next one... I don't remember if it came out the next year or the year after that. I can't remember. What's that supposed to be? All right, I need a hint. Oh, it's in the book. Okay, I didn't see that as an anchor for some reason. Oh no, and I need a lamp too. And I don't know where that is either. Oh, a lantern. I was looking for a lamp. All right, and Ivan's Cafe. This room gave me trouble last time. A bell and a lizard. I saw a lizard. And a, wait. Bell, lizard, pair of gloves, which is there. Leather wallet, wooden triangle, which I found last time. A turtle, which is down here, he's so cute. And a pie, which is amazingly placed, which is right there. And an old car, which is down here. All right, a leather wallet, a lizard, and a bell. I seem to remember seeing a bell in this one, too. I do not remember seeing a wallet. I need a bell and a lizard. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Where are you, lizard? There's a cockroach. Yum. A little tiny bottle. That's not a bell. What is that? That's like a scepter. Is that a lizard? Huh. That's not what I thought I was looking for. And a leather wallet, which I already forgot I was looking for, and a bell. Okay. There's the wallet. Now I just need the bell. Bell? Yes! Ha ha! I found everything! I win! Science Museum! Oh, cool. Look at this. This is neat. Artichoke, sandwich, bicycle horn, three lanterns, a mountie, a stack of coins, a beach ball, and a frog. Well, there's the mountie. Is that? That's like a kickball or some yarn. Oh, good. My, my voice is going to start going. There's the artichoke, which are delicious, by the way. Oh, there's a frog. Oh, and there's a ladybug. Let's see, a bicycle horn, uh, three lanterns, and a stack of coins. Okay, let's see if we can find the lanterns. There's a crossbow. Lots of crossbows in later games. Uh, they, they don't actually understand how they work necessarily, but there are lots of them. Is that a lantern? No. That's one, though. That looks like a um, spark plug, actually, which is a thing you would have in a science museum. Okay, so we need a sandwich and a bicycle horn. A sandwich. Is that jar full of hands? That's very creepy. What happens in these games is I look at the things that are on the shelves, and then I forget that there's random stuff in the background, like there's a football helmet, for example. Oh, look, there's an alien ship and a cow. <laughs> oh, there's a bicycle horn. It, they trick your brain into only looking at certain things and skipping over the rest of it because in a normal, like, real-life setting, the things you're looking at wouldn't actually be important because they would just be background. But none of the things in this are background. Everything is placed on purpose except, like, the big pieces of furniture. And even then, then they can have little things on them that are hiding. And I forgot what I'm looking for. I still do not see... Is that a stack of coins? No. I want to find the sandwich. Where is the sandwich? There's a corn dog. I have never had a corn dog. They do not sound appealing to me for some reason. I don't know why. I like hot dogs. Not a big fan of the idea of corn dogs, though. 
There's chocolate. Why can't I find anything? You've been giving me help, haven't you? Ooh, there's a hook. My my brain gets lost looking at all the- oh, there's the coins. Um, my brain gets lost. I have had cornbread. I am not a big fan of cornbread. I know that's going to be upsetting to some people. But cornbread always tastes like or smells like it should be savory. I don't need a corn dog. No, I was just talking about corn dogs. Yeah, but I don't really like cornbread necessarily because it seems like it should be savory and it's always sweeter to me than it's supposed to be. And it's like, I want it to be like cake or like a brownie or like a biscuit and it's more crumbly somehow. And now I'm not looking for anything anymore. Not that I was doing a good job of looking at things before I was talking, but yes, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not a big fan of cornbread. I have eaten it on occasion. It's not bad. Maybe I just haven't had the right cornbread. I don't know. There's a heart. There's a museum in Philadelphia where they have a giant heart that you can walk through. It's really cool. And it makes the th thump noise while you're in there. So it goes, dun -dun, dun -dun. but it's like, it's not loud, but you can kind of like feel it in your chest. It's very cool. Is that like, oh look, there's a dude's face in here. You see him? There's his head and there's his mustache. I'm now going to be looking at the edges to see if I missed anything because I'm just ignoring things. Like the coins that were there. There's a harmonica. Thread and a skull and an eyeball and a shrunken head. There's a sandwich! I don't know what I thought that was, but I didn't think it was a sandwich. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Looks like this lady is electrocuting herself on accident. The uh, criminals that they have in this town are not like cream of the crop or anything even close to that. I'm not sure how they're basing our finding out about this kind of stuff as to how good of a detective we're going to be. <laughs> I think they might be disappointed in the end. Uh, where's the Let's see, where's the Oh, okay. Yeah, if this was going on in real life, she did. Like, that that's not a um, amount of electricity that you have to walk away from. Generally speaking. I haven't been to a museum in so long. Because of stupid COVID. I want to go to the aquarium, too, actually. I would rather go to the aquarium first. I want to see the fishies. I miss the fishies. Shut up! How is that helpful? Thank you! Yay, I did it! Looks like Professor Tick has been hiding out in the Science Museum and conducting rather unorthodox experiments. I forget what she was being blamed for. Oh. Thanks to you, this nutty professor is going straight back to a straitjacket. That's kind of messed up. She was an escapee, I remember now. Your phenomenal findings... Benign... What? Your phenomenal finding facility faculty awards you the new detective ranking of investigator. Nice. All right, let's see. The way to a man's heart. Miss, Mrs. Larson, curator of the Huntsville Art Museum, suspects her husband, Bill, of marital infidelity. She needs your help uncovering clues left behind at suspected rendezvous points, including Alice's Diner and the Captain's Inn. Probably. Uh, let's see. When enough evidence is collected, use the crime computer to unravel the mystery of Bill's nightly absences. Oh boy. Let's go to the clock shop. Oh no! We ran out of time because I talked too much. All right, so that was the beginning of Mystery Case Files. I promise you the other games are much more interesting than that one, even though, I don't know, if you like listening to me ramble, I guess it was interesting. I think there are two more of the older type games before we get to the, the really fun ones. Let's see. Huntsville is the first one. 
Yeah. The next one is Prime Suspects, which is basically like 2.0 of this one. But then the third one is Ravenhurst. And that's when they start getting really good. And they have really good puzzles. They, they start off having pretty standard um, hidden object puzzles, but the in-between puzzles are fantastic. They also have some pretty good stories, though as time goes on, as I said before, the stories in these games get less interesting as the graphics get better, which I think is kind of a shame because, I don't know, I, I like a good story. I love good graphics, don't get me wrong. But if you have a story that you're trying to tell, the story part should take like precedence over, you know, the stuff you're using to tell the story. It's usually a good idea. So we do still have to finish the Haunted Hotel, whichever one it was. One of them, I have to finish the bonus episode. All right. I am Fate Touched and I will see you later. Bye.